Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here and welcome back to New World. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, we are starting off in Windsward Hamlet and I noticed that we actually have a few side quests that we could run around and pick up. So I do want to grab all these before we head out. <laughs> Not much happening at the forge. We have a shortage of metals in Windsward and the spread of corruption has slowed trade. But I wonder, are, are conventional weapons really the best means of fighting the corruption? We should explore other options. My thoughts exactly. I have a theory. I, I just need help testing it out. I've been thinking, what if there's a relationship between the corrupted and the lost? An interesting idea. Well, I have an experiment in mind, but to test it, I need soil samples from locations overrun by each. Merrill's place for the corrupted and Cooper's place for the lost, the withered. All right, we've been to those sun. places, so we'll kind of be circling back to some areas that we've already been to. Let's go to the north and grab the one up here. Well now, I hear you've thrown in with one of the factions. I think that makes sense. But I hope you're still willing to fight with your old friend Miklos. Well, you haven't well. been here that long, but okay. Ooh, that's good to hear, my friend. I've learned of a great misfortune that's befallen our neighbors in Marnark's Bluffs. One of their scouting patrols came under attack out by Bullrush Wash. The situation is dire. And you want us to help them? Yes, I want you to come to their rescue. Save the poor bastards on behalf of Windsward. Whatever we can do to earn allies is worth doing. Tell them we'll always be there when they need us. All right. Bull Rush Wash is a notoriously difficult river crossing. No idea what the fools were doing out there. But we'll rescue I don't know. I don't really care for your voice actor, so we're going to walk off. Uh, let's come down here and grab uh, this quest at the inn. Well, across from the inn. You know, it's funny. When I first heard the corruption was spreading, I thought we'd be safe here in Windsward. But I tell it to you plain, I'm beginning to have doubts. And why is that? Well, I'm just thinking back. You don't know all the history. For some reason, Windsward always gets the shaft. <laughs> okay. And besides, I have no confidence in Dottie. None whatsoever. That's fair. He spends half his time in here drinking. The other half. Dreaming or boasting. Mostly, he seems interested in helping the other settlements. Showing off. What about Magistrate Korapati? She's alright. Lonely, tired. We all are. What we need right now is a hearty meal. Huh? A delicious stew. Oh, in fact, Alright, uh, parts for a stew. Skinned rabbits, plucked turkeys, and briar branches. What do we have here? Woodlouse invasion. There's few pleasures greater than finding a big, fat woodlouse after taking the time to rustle one out of the many bushes of Eternum. There's few greater shocks, though, than finding the buggers have made a home in your wooden furniture. That sounds incredibly bad. Uh, let's take a look at our map. We have a lot of things going on. A lot of things going on. Uh, how do we want to best tackle this? Near the Canaan tomb, overlooking South Pond. Uh, we could start down at the south and just kind of make a circuit, like so. Let's see how that goes. So we're eliminating any sign of corruption for this one. 
And there's three different places that we have to do that in. I really want to know what the trick is to finding more iron, because so far we really haven't come across any. And we need that if we want to ever craft ourselves uh, some better armor or weapons, etc. And I would like to be able to do that. I don't know why it sometimes will switch what we have pinned. It's a little bit weird. Signs of corruption. Okay. Yeah, that looks like corruption to me. Not an expert, but we're going to go on a limb here and say corruption. Let's we'll just pick it up, put it in our bags. No big deal. Alright, and then, what do we have down here? Valuable items, and a threat to Marauder interest. We might as well circle down here. These are level 11, so yeah, let's, let's go down here and do these. Kind of want to see if we can make one big loop and complete a bunch of stuff all at once would make me happy. A harvesting item, rare. I don't come by a lot of these, so I want to stop and grab this. Level up our harvesting. Well, this is now saying it's a level 13 area. See, see if we can handle these guys. That was a whiff. Yeah, we can handle them. I'd say we probably need to be a little bit careful. I would have loved it had the, had a guy not like spawned right next to us. That would have been cool. We'll let our buddy here take him out. And we'll go back in and help. We did get an item here. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, that's a significant upgrade. Uh, what have we pulled here? Oh god, I don't know what that is. Very useful here to have other folks around. Uh, that could have been really bad had we been on our own. Provisions crate. I do need this pinned. Three out of five chests so far. 
Just don't know what the best area is going to be to look for more. Seems like kind of a rather small place. Well, here's one right here. Corn? Okay, haven't seen corn before. Let's grab some corn. Why not? Oh, that was for harvesting as well. Oh, okay, so anytime we're at a farm, we can basically harvest all the crops, and that's what's going to be leveling up our harvesting. We don't have to find stuff out in the fields. We literally need to be at farms. All right, that's cool. That makes sense. You harvest stuff from a farm. Okay, I'm in. That being said, I don't know if I want to sit here in this field and uh, do this for too much longer here. grab some cabbages though I just have to assume that we can use these in cooking recipes And that feels like it's going to take us out of the area we need to be in. And we're still looking for one more chest that seems uh, a little bit elusive. I don't know if there are only a total of five chests. I also don't know if ones will respawn that we've already grabbed. It doesn't really look like they're going to respawn. Maybe down in the well? Uh, then again, we've pulled a bunch of stuff just now. And I'm not really keen about fighting all of it. Maybe we can get the help of some other folks here. Uh, get them enlisted into our efforts. Willingly or unwillingly, I suppose. Gonna pop a potion. Alright, let's check out the well here. Hey, there we go. That worked out. Now we will head over to the number three, Buccaneer Creek. And let's get some food buffs going on here. There we go. And we'll also set up a camp. We haven't done that in a while. What can we craft here? Some basic tools. Some rations. Defeat Lost Pirate at Buccaneer Creek. Whoops. <laughs> don't look now. No, really, please don't look yet. Oh, 
Oh, we need to get out of there. This is kind of when it's unfortunate to not have a ranged weapon. I will say that. Could not get our guard up in time in there. And couldn't dodge out of that one either. Uh, we have a slight concussion there for a minute, and we don't have a lot of health. Waiting for the potion to come off cooldown. Alchemy Crate. A common health potion, which is a little bit better than the weak ones that we've been using so far. And we do have some respawns up here. I don't really want to fight two of them at once. And one more, and we should be done here. All right, that's that's good. Uh, we could explore a little bit more here, but it, it is seeming like it's a little bit dangerous to do so. Uh, maybe we cut up to the north here, and we can knock out a couple of things up here. We need to hunt into wolves and skin them. Is this... Oh, that's not in the same area. What am I looking at? Okay, we still have a ways to go. We need to pin this. I wish it would automatically pin the ones that were closest. Probably shouldn't have tried to collect this. This guy's not taking a lot of damage from our impact. You see the blue the blue damage means that they're not taking that they're resistant to it. Let's switch to our sword and shield and see if that is a little bit better for these guys. Well. Yeah, it's a little bit better. They're not weak to it, but they're not strong against it either, so we will stick with the sword and shield here for the time being. Thank <laughs> you. 
And I think all we're really concerned with here is digging these soils uh, samples up. And we also have to go to Cooper's Ranch and get soil samples from there as well as part of the same quest. All right, uh, let's continue on then further to the north. It still marks these, but I don't think... Yeah, collecting them is not going to do anything else for us. All right, well, let some of the turkeys live. Let's go work on the faction quest over here first. What is this? Uh, apparently it's nothing? Okay. Wait a minute. Scour the area. Destroy any corruption nodules you find. Wait a minute. Hunt down wolves. Okay. Not really seeing a lot of wolves around in this area. Strangely, it's actually rather quiet. Well, let's head over to the corruption point and just grab that while we're here, I guess. And then maybe some wolves will spawn. Who knows? Anything could happen. Yeah, I'm not seeing any wildlife here at all. Let's figure out what this question mark area is over here. 80 meters away. So this is no longer in the Greenville area where we need to be hunting these wolves. Well, hi there. We've been looking all over for you. We only need three of them, so it's, it's not like we need too many. Usually when you find wolves, they're like literally all over the place. I don't know if someone has come through here and cleared them all out or what.
Okay, that counted, surprisingly. Even though we only got like a single hit in successfully on it. Yep, this is a little bit strange, a little bit strange. Not not really any action going on here. Probably a good place to cut wood and get stone and stuff like that. Uh, but not really helping us with the quest, sadly. And I, I don't want to dump a ton of time into this. I was hoping it would be something we could do really quickly and kind of keep moving. Uh, that doesn't seem like it's going to be the case. I feel like we're actually having to hunt for wolves. Uh, which is not a great feeling for a simple kill quest. Just maybe spawn a few more here would be great. Oh, a dire uh, or oh, a deer hair. I thought it said dire hair. I was like, okay, well, not what we needed. Not not at all what we needed. Yeah, I am kind of thinking about skipping this for now. Let's head out, uh, let's head out this way. I don't know what this is, but I guess we can fight it. Okay, we do need turkeys. I should have been skinning the turkeys that we've been killing. We need six plucked turkeys, skinned rabbits, and a bunch of stuff. Okay, maybe this is stuff that we're not going to be able just to, like, target specifically. Like, briar branches? I, I don't know. I have no idea what it's looking for there. Absolutely no idea. I'm just going to cut down this tree and see if that gives us a briar branch. Uh, failing that, I don't know. Uh, I don't think it did. No, it didn't do anything for us. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's move on a little bit, shall we? So we need to keep our eyes peeled for rabbits, uh, for turkeys. We do need the turkeys now, so we can kill them. There's our prompt to fish again. Never did figure out what that button was, and I haven't looked it up because I don't really care too much about fishing at the moment. Oh, 
Oh, the Abomination. That was the thing that we fought before. We need to destroy five more of them, apparently. And what do we have here? Fickle Fortune. Barely made it across the bridge before those winged withered attacked, and during the scuffle, the bridge was destroyed. We were able to fight them back for now, but it's too late to press onto the settlement tonight. And we'll need the light to see what kind of damage the wagons have taken. The differences in these last two trips has been night and day. Our last trip down to Windsward, perfect weather, no problems at all, and even shaved time off by taking a shortcut between two of those strange corrupted pillars that have started to appear. This trip, however, has been one problem after another. Broken axles, spoiled food, attacks by every blasted creature on the island. It's like we're attracting every bit of bad luck possible. Perhaps we used up whatever luck we had left? Ah well, we're safe enough for now, and on first look it seems we only lost a bit of the trade goods. Uh, you guys didn't, like, stay safe, though. Because if you had, we wouldn't be finding uh, that note. Uh, and it's probably due to these abominations that they did not stay safe. They look rather nasty. They take extra damage from in from impact damage. That's great. Whoa, that was a pretty cool attack that I'm glad didn't hit us. We need to kill one more of these things. I see our quarry. I just want to avoid this wretcher if we can. Ah, uh, yeah, we can't, apparently. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Let's head over here. We can at least get the soil from the Cooper farm. And then I think we ought to head back for the time being and get some things turned in. Uh, these things we're probably just going to have to work on casually. The wolves, skinning them, the rabbits, the turkeys. We'll probably get sent back out to this area at some point for other things. They, they tend to like to reuse areas for different quests. Lifetime's work. It is not the animals brought with us on the La Renome that interest me, nor the deer or wolf of the isle. Though the though of great size and fierce disposition, it is the beast native to Eternum. I fear it would take a lifetime, perhaps several, to see them all. Yet my curiosity will not let me remain idle. Even Jacquez's memory has faded, washed away as he was in the storm, but perhaps that is for the best. For had he survived, life would have been quite different. I have been given a chance many would dream of to explore this isle and see what flourishes here. Alright. Into the depths. 
I head to the great crater lake at first light. The journey will be long, but I think the league shall pass quickly. I have heard tales of the strange forest creatures there, seemingly woven from the wood itself. A trapper in the local outpost had given the creature a name, a spriggan, a tree spirit, the height of four men with a body and limbs of branches given life. Is this something born of the isle or perhaps something created by the Azoth in the forest? This isle is filled with wonders, and I wish to see them all. May fortune favor me on my journey. A glimpse of such a sprite is all I require, even if I must spend weeks circling the lake. The new predator. The tracks of the creature that killed the bison were that of a wolf, but not a pack of wolves yet. A single wolf, yet based on the snow, much heavier than any wolf, and embedded in the tracks were small, snapped twigs, and in one what seemed to be part of a tree root, covered in the same frost as marked the bison's wounds. I consider myself no coward, but this isle's mysteries frighten me, for I do not know what the snows hide. Okay, hello there, how are you doing? Can't you tell that we're reading here? A little peace and quiet would be great. Chance meeting, chance meeting and odd meeting, chance meeting and odd meeting with someone I had nearly forgotten about, the gentleman scholar I had met the previous year, Mr. Grenville. The man seemed struck by the same wanderlust as I, though his seems more in the way of digging up stones and picking up bricks and old ruins. I offered him and his companions shelter for the night, but though his com companions seemed to want rest, he seemed eager to be on his way and kept speaking of a great discovery that was within his reach. His manner, while not hostile, and I'm certain he meant no rudeness or insult by it, was rather unsettling, and seemed to have an urgency about him, not of one fleeing something, but chasing something. In an attempt to calm him, I asked if he still played the piano, and he seemed confused for a moment, as if he had quite forgotten it existed, then shook his head, as if the memory was unwelcome, a distraction. I hope he finds what he seeks, though I fear that he may end up, may stir up, or what he may stir up in the bright wood, if he does not take care and slow his pace." This little area here has been an incredible amount of reading. Cooper's Ranch. Lot of lore objects here. And yeah, so far the writing has been decent. It, it, it's not like the best written things I've ever read in my life, but it, it's been decent. And fairly enjoyable to read most of it. When it's not about like wood lice or something. Okay, I think that is it for this one. Uh, yeah. And I think we're going to head back to town before we do anything else. Uh, probably because we need to... Yeah, we're getting really heavy. We need to unload some of our burdens here, so... I'm going to go ahead and get us back into town, and then I think we're going to take a little bit of a break for today, guys. That is where we will end things for now. Thank you all so much for joining me in a tournament today. I really do appreciate all the support that you guys have shown the series. It does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here really soon. Bye now.